Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at the great lie, the greatest lie. And that is... Net Zero. The core is rotten, and I can behold the tide. Now we all know that Net Zero is just a term that helps the governments, in my honest opinion, fleece the nation out of hard earned taxes. And we also know that it seems to be making everybody's life more and more difficult trying to achieve it. Well, it seems, it seems, it seems that we're being proven just how costly green really is. Now, just to get to net zero, this is a professor, Simon Mitchell, who's an associate professor of geometallurgy at the Geological Survey of Finland. And he's come out and said that to achieve net zero, it would trigger the biggest mining boom in history and would need to. And this is what he says, making enough wind turbines, solar panels, batteries and electric vehicles to replace fossil fuels will require over 4.5 billion tons of copper. The bad news? The world only mined 24 million tons of copper in 2019, meaning it will take 189 years to produce enough copper to go net zero at current rates of production. And it doesn't stop there, everyone. Imagine the cost that that would imply. It gets worse. The same goes for nickel. These are all elements that are used in batteries and the production of renewable energy. Nickel, the world will need just under 1 billion tonnes of nickel to make enough renewables to replace fossil fuels. But in 2019, the world only mined 2.4 million tonnes of nickel, meaning it would take 400 years, let that sink in, 400 years to produce enough to go net zero, i.e. replace fossil fuels with renewable energy. And that's at current rates of production. The situation gets even worse when it comes to lithium, cobalt and rare earth metals. It'll take 9,920 years to produce enough lithium to go net zero at current rates of production. And it'll take 1,733 years to produce enough cobalt to go net zero, most of which would come from China and owned and African child mines in the Congo. Are we seeing the issue here, everyone? Are we seeing the problem with them trying and saying that they're going for net zero? If professors are able to work this out, I'm sure the advisors of the government know full well that net zero is an impossibility and are doing it anyway, which makes you question the reasons, doesn't it? It's not to save the planet, it's to buffer the coffers so that they can buffer their own coffers, in my honest opinion. Let me know what you think, though. I'd like to know your opinion. Well done, Professor Simon Mitchell. We appreciate the mathematics, shall we say. <laughs> Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.